is your Friday morning, 9 a.m. body sculpt class. Happy Friday. Let's warm it up. Leg curl. We're going to ease into this workout. I did not say easy workout. I said ease. Thank you, honey. Remember, as always, you take it at a pace that works for you. There will be modifications along the way. If my modifications don't work, do something else that you know. Be safe today. Four, three, we're going to tap with our left foot first, reach up. Let's take both arms up. Left arm goes across. I had a little rotation. Both hands go toward me, push forward. Let's take those leg curls again, left leg. Come back to that tap, left foot, left arm up. Both hands go up. Left arm goes across, little rotation. Both hands forward, face me. Four, three. We're going to stop our legs now and do those arm circles. Four more, four. We place the hands on the thigh, round the back and flatten it. Let's get four more, flat, round, three, two, and one. Taking our hands to the floor, we're gonna straighten the legs, we're gonna drop the head and neck. Shaking the head no a few times. And then shaking the head yes, we are going to get to this workout. And then let your head hang heavy. Keep a slight bend in your knees if you need to. Walk the hands over toward the right foot to the outside. Put a bend in your left knee, looking back. Okay. Five, hold it for three, two, and one. Let's take it through the middle and then taking the hands to the outside of the left foot. Put in slight bend in the right knee, looking back. Four, three, two, and one. Let's come through the center, put a bend in the knees, place the hands on the side, and then round all the way. Up, pick up a dumbbell. Heavy or light, whatever you've got. I'm gonna go with a modified, somewhere in the middle. Take one dumbbell, I'm gonna hold the outside head. Feet are gonna be hip width apart, toes are pointing forward. We're gonna take our base squats nice and slow. Down for two, drive up for two. So my knees and my toes point forward, my abs are in. I keep my hands up for counterbalance. I send my booty back. The weight is in the heels. Do it again. Five more at this rhythm. Down slow and up slow. Four. Nice and slow. Checked up. Two more, then we pick up the pace. And one more. Let's pick up the rhythm now for 10, 9, 8, 7. Hips go back. 6, 5. Four, three, two, and one. Take the arms above the head. Up slowly, behind the neck slowly, straightening the arms, right back to the collarbone. It's up, behind the neck, straighten the arms, and down. Do it again. Up, behind the neck, and straighten the arms, 
elbows come down two more slowly. Abs in tight, especially when the weights go above your head. You want to protect that lower back. Shoulder and tricep. Are you ready to pick up the pace? I am. Here we go. Keep those knees bent, abs in, chest lifted. Up behind the neck and down. Up behind the neck. Try to have those elbows frame your feet. Last five. Last four. Here's three. And two. One more time. Perfect. Let's slowly bring that weight down. Keep it in your hand. Turn your toes out. Line up your knees directly over your ankles. Keep your back nice and straight. We're going to drop the arms straight down. We're going to bring them out to parallel. Nice and slow. Remember I said we're easing into our workout. And up slow. And down. And up two more to speed. Down, knees over ankles. Back is straight. Down. Let's pick up the rhythm. For 10. For nine, back straight as if you are sliding down an imaginary wall. The shoulders are over the hips. The knees go over the ankles. Four, three, two, and one. Arms down, step it in. Place the one dumbbell in your right hand. Send the right leg all the way back. Place your left elbow on your left thigh. Line up your shoulders, neck is long. One arm rows, you know this. Elbow to the sky. Working that upper back. I want this move to come from your upper back, not just your bicep. Move that shoulder blade toward the middle of your back. Ten more here. Ten. Here's eight, seven, four to go, four, here's three, two, and one. Step in, rise up, chain sides, left leg goes all the way back, elbow on the side, line up those shoulders, lengthen that neck, here we go, pull. Working at your pace. That left leg is nice and long. Shoulders are lined up. Abs are in. Now my gaze is down, it's not up. I want to keep that length in my neck, my length down my entire spine. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, here's 4. Three, two, and one. Step it in. Let's put that weight aside for now. Come into the floor. We're going to move into our down dog push up combination. Now I'm going to give you the modification first. If you are going to do a push up on your knees, you complete the push up, you straighten the legs, you push back to down dog, you rock forward. Place knees on the floor, do your push up, and then lift the side. Otherwise, you're on your toes with me. Hands wide, neck is long, gaze is down. Start in that push up position. In four, three, give me that push up first. Down up, push back to down dog, rock forward. Here we go. Push up, press back, rock forward. Take your time. Throughout all the moves. Make sure you come out of that down dog into that plank position before you move into that push up. Nice. I'm talking to Joseph, by the way, because I really can't see you all. Push back. Let's get two more. Push up. 
Push back. Push up. Give me the down dog. Come into plank and hold your plank. Now move your hands in shoulder width apart. Shoulder to wrist, spread the fingers wide. Neck is long, belly tight. Again, you can be on your knees for the modified, but I would encourage you to come up on your toes if you can, working on the strength in your plank. Hold it 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down to your knees, sit back on your heels. I like to turn my thumbs up when I do a child's pose. Gives me a little external rotation in my shoulder, opens up my upper back a little bit more. And rise up. We all like being on the floor, so we're gonna stay here. Pick up one light weight, one light weight. Place it in your right hand. Place it in your right hand. Now again, I give everybody options to tone it down or tone it up. You can either hold your left leg back in opposition and keep the right elbow up for your tricep kickbacks. Or if you're feeling ambitious, you move your left hand in a little bit you open up your feet into a modified, into a plank, and we do our kickback from here. Which one are you doing? I'm gonna start with a more challenging one and maybe drop down. Car. Right elbow up, neck is long. Here we go. Kick back. Again, I'm gonna show you the modification. I would be on my right knee with my left leg straight back toward the floor, for the wall. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one more time. Beautiful, put the weight down. Come on, hands and knees, hands and knees. So, we're gonna work those hybrids I'm gonna push my head to the floor. I'm gonna lift my left knee up. I'm looking over my shoulder. I'm gonna put it right back down. Lift it up, put it down. Here we go. Up and down, go slow. Up, try to get that thigh parallel to the ground. That knee and ankle rises to the same height. So I'm gonna show you what I see a lot of times which is wrong, people leaning over. You wanna push those hands into the floor and get that rotation from your booty. One more slow. Are you ready to pick up the pace? Out to the side, here we go. Up, down. This is for the dogs. This is for the dogs, Joseph said. Only the boy dogs. Up, down, up, down. Working that external rotation of the hip. Work in that booty. 10 more here. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Let's sit back just for a moment. And the moment was gone. Let's move to that other tricep. Remember, it's in your left hand. You can hold your right leg straight back, or you can come into that plank position. I keep my feet a little wider in my plank. Elbow up, here we go. Kick back. You wanna keep those hips level. Once again, here's my modification. My left knee is on the ground, my right leg is back. Here it's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Weight goes down, we come on the knees, we start those hydrants on the right, nice and slow. Here we go. Out to the side. Again, slow. And down. Another common mistake is leaning into the other glute. So if you do that, you're gonna feel a lot more work on your left side 
Now your right thigh, nice and slow. Are you ready to pick up the rhythm? Here we go. Out to the side. Seven to go. Six, five, four, three, and two, and one. While we're down here, let's do one more thing. Come onto your forearms into a plank. I'm getting my timer ready. On your forearms, leg back. Here we go. Hold it. Push those elbows, those forearms into the floor. Press those heels back. Suck that belly in and breathe. Keep that neck nice and long. Drive the navel up toward the spine. Push your elbows through the floor. Press those legs back. Get your legs involved. So instead of looking like this, push the thighs back. Straight line. You have 22 seconds left. I know such a random number. Why would I say that? 18, 17. 13 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 3, 3, 2, and 1. My bad. Everybody up. How are you guys feeling? You ready for more? I just gotta see what's going on here. There's a little message here for me. Okay. There we go. Get that one heavy dumbbell again. We're going back to our squats. I call this pick it up, put it down. Pick it up, put it down. So the weight's gonna go in between my feet. Right? We lift with our legs. Feet are hip width apart, just about hip width. I'm gonna squat down. Chest up, I want to see your pretty face. I'm going to rise up. I'm going to put it back on the floor and come up. Now, if that's too much, and maybe you've got something like an ottoman, you don't have to go all the way to the floor. It might not be available for you. You ready to try it with me? Here we go. Pick it up. Put it down. Pick it up. Now, don't drop it. I want you to put it back down on the ground. Pick it up, put it down. Remember, if my speed is not working for you, you work at a speed that does. Keep that chest up. I want to see your pretty face. Up. I want you to see my pretty face. Because it's so pretty. Five. Four more. Four. Three. Two, and one. Pick up your light weight. One in each hand. One in each hand. Three. So I'm gonna balance on my left leg. Take the bottom of your right foot against the inside of the calf. Turn out. Right hand in front of your thigh, left hand by your side. You know, like I like my L raise. Here we go, make the L. If you're struggling with your balance, put your right foot lightly on the floor. Your heart rate might be a little elevated from those last squats. You might be breathing heavy. Okay, good sign. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a moment. We change legs. Balancing on the right, finding that turnout with the left, bottom of the shoe. Left hand in front, right hand side, L raised down. So when we move from a lower body exercise to an upper body, it allows us to keep working with less breaks. I know, 
Why? Here's eight, seven, six, four more, please. Four, three, two, and one. No weights, no weights. We're gonna work in isometric and then move. So what does that mean? Into our stationary lunge. I'm on the ball of my right foot. I tuck my tailbone under, I slide straight down, left knee over ankle, right hip over the knee, chest is up. Don't move. Hold it here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Rise, lower for 10. 9, keep going. Another common mistake I see, rocking forward and back. Not good for your knees. Four, you wanna go straight down. Three, two, can you hold that lunge again? Hold it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rise and lower. 10, squeeze that back, move nine. Knee over ankle, eight, belly in, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step it in, shake it out. Other leg, line up the right knee over the right ankle. Now the higher you are on the ball of the foot, the higher you're on the ball of the foot, the easier it is to go down. Easier to go down. Knee over ankle, heel lifted. Back straight, slide down and hold. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, rise and lower. 10 times, knee over ankle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it down again, I'm gonna show you again. Knee under the hip, knee over the ankle. Back is straight, back heel lifted. Four, three, rise and lower. 10, nine, eight. Last six, easy for me to say, right? Five, I'm not doing it. Four, three, two, and one. Let's step it in and pick up a pair of weights. I'm gonna work biceps, so I'm gonna go a little heavier. If you have them, use them. Palms are forward. Here's your gift. You don't have to add anything but your arm. Palms are forward, shoulders back and down. Slow curl to start. Lengthening at the bottom. Here's another common mistake I see. People stopping here. All the way up. All the way down. You want to lengthen those arms. All the way up. All the way down. Another common mistake. Bringing your arms forward. Curling. That fire from your shoulder. You want that elbow directly under that shoulder. Pick up the rhythm now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one more time. And one. Hands in front of your thighs. In front of your thighs. We're gonna slide down into our dead squat. What does that mean? I take a bow as I sit back. I drive back up. I take a bow as I sit back. This is a modified deadlift. This would be a full deadlift, which I'm not a fan of unsupervised, because you can really hurt your back. A lot of people do this. Sink your hips back, drop back. Drive through the heels. Work the back of the legs. Work that booty. Down. Drive. Hips go back. The gaze is down when I go down. Down. Push the heels, come up. 
Can I get three more? Two more. One more time. We're going to go into alternating front raises. Right? Now, if you need to change the weight, go right ahead. I'm going to try to challenge myself today with these. Abs in tight. Right. Left. Right. Five more. Here comes four. Here comes three. Two. And one more time. Awesome, those weights go aside. So the lunges were hard. Here comes a little bit more easy. Come against the wall if you have it, hold on. If you don't need to hold on, that's okay. I'm gonna lift my left knee up. We're gonna turn it out to the side, belly in tight. I'm gonna bring that knee back in. I'm gonna lower it down, here we go. Lift, get that turn out. Remember that high grip? Targeting the outside of the thigh. Down, up. Out, in, keep going. Now, if you can challenge yourself today, try it without the wall or the chair. Put a soft bend in your standing leg. Get that turn out. Now, try not to turn your hips. Everything points to me. Up, out, in, and down. If you pick a spot directly in front of you and you keep your focus on that spot, it helps you work on your balance. But if you never work on balance, it's never going to get better. Out. And you'll see I struggle a little. We're human. Up. Out. Five more, please. Five. Four. Open. Three. Two more, and one more. Now, we're still working that left side. Feet together. I'm gonna step out to the left into my side lunge. My right leg stays perfectly straight. I push off the left leg to come back. Here we go. Down, push off. Woo, I went too far, down. It's live TV, guys. Down, we can edit. We can and up. Uh, down and up and up down and up keep going abs and tight i hope that was entertaining for you totally embarrassing for me but i'll get over it down and up push off that outside foot that left side and in that right leg is straight we are working our adductors and our abductors, inners and outer thighs. Those are your knee stabilizers. And up, five more. Five. <laughs> Four. Maybe next time only one line there in the morning. Three. Two more. Two. And one more time. And one. And release. Let's work the other side. We gotta hold on for this one. We're gonna lift that right knee up. We're gonna open. In, here we go. Up, open. Up, open, and down. Up, open. Up, open. Get that turn out from the glutes. Up, open, in, and down. I'm picking my spot right out the window. I'm looking at that beautiful sunshine. Uh, open. Wall is here if I need it. So is the fridge. <laughs> Up, open. Now be mindful, your balance might be better on one side. That's okay, it's normal. Here's five. 
four, three, two, and one more time. One, and release. Good. Let's try that flat lunge on the other side. So I step out. I push off my right foot to come back. Here we go. Down and in. My left leg stays perfectly straight throughout the move. I'm pushing off the outside of the right foot. Now, if you can't go all the way to the floor, that's your option. You can place your hands on your thighs, come right back in. Down and up. Down and up. Keep going. Down. Now, I look down when I go down. I look forward when I come up. Abs are tight. Push off that outside foot, that right foot. Here we go. Seven and in. Six and in. Five. Four to go. Four. Three more times. Three. Two more times. Two. Here is your last one. Who safely related to the floor? Next set of push-ups. No down dog today though. Push up to mountain climb. So again, here's the modification. If I'm on my knees, push up first, legs up, climb with the right, climb with the left. Drop to the knees, do your push-up. If you cannot do the mountain climb, hold the plank. If you cannot do the push-up, Come on to your forearms and do a plank. Are you ready to do this? In four, three, two, here we go. One push up, climb right, climb left. Bringing that knee all the way up to my chest. As I go down toward the floor, I squeeze my shoulder blades together. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. And rest. Let's turn over, grabbing our heavier set of weights. I'm gonna go grab mine. Okay. On your back. We've got our chest presses going. Chest press today. Palms face forward. Elbows come down parallel to the ground. Right back up. Here we go. Down and up. I say it all the time. At the bottom of the move, the wrist is under the elbow. A lot of times I see this, wrist in front of the elbow. Elbows come down to 90 degrees. The wrists are over the elbows, the elbows in line with the shoulder. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Stay the little right thing. Come on up to your knees. Up to your knees. So I'll give you the modification after. You don't have to be on your knees. We're going to do a tricep extension. I'm going to be sitting on my heels. The dumbbells behind my head. As I rise up, I straighten my arms. As I come back, I sit on my heels. If you have knee issues, just do your triceps above your head with us, nice and slowly. Otherwise, we're on the knees, sitting on the feet. Dumbbell behind the head, elbows spread the face, nice and slowly rise. Push those hips forward, pull the belly in. Chin is lifted. Good. Press up, squeeze your butt at the top. Squeeze your glutes here, abs in tight. Up, up, and down, down. Up, up, 
down. Again, straight up. Perfect. Elbows ring your face. Chin is lifted. Elbows are directly over the shoulders. Lift for two. Lower five more. Up, up. And down, down. Four. Three more times. Two more. And one more here. And one. Safely bring the weight around. Put it aside. Let's go face up on the elbows. Face up on the elbows. Working those thighs. I'm on my forearms. Chest is out. Now I'm going to drive my elbows into the floor and I'm going to retract my shoulder blades. We worked on this the other day. So then I'm working my upper back. Right leg straight out. Flex the toe toward your face. Lift and lower. Here we go. Okay, since I'm talking about common mistakes today, a lot of times I see this. A bend in the knee. It looks like my leg is straight, but it's not. I need to get that extension all the way down to this part of my knee. Lift, lower. That's the bottom of your part. Lift, lower. Let me know when you feel it. Lift and lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Get that leg straight. You push through the heel. You get that last 30 degrees of your leg extension. Try not to collapse into your chest. Pop that chest up, pull the belly in. Was anybody counting how many we did? Eight, nine, nine, Thirty. Eight. Oh, thank you, Ellie. <laughs> Let's do 15 more. I love that girl. 190, 191. 10 more. 10. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, and five, four, three, two, and one. Shake out your legs. So the total was 50. We could do that. Piece of cake, right? Yep, that's what I want, a piece of cake. On your forearms. Left leg straight again. This is not straight. This is straight. Here we go. Ten again. Chest out. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Five. Lift and lower. Stay focused. We are halfway there. If it bothers your neck at this point, feel free to lie down flat. Twenty to go. Don't let your mind wander. Stay focused. Keep that leg straight and strong. Lift, lower. Last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, four more, four, Last two and the last one. Shake your legs. Okay, so we're going to move into some core exercises right now. What we're going to do is something I call a drag. It's a drag. Not because it's boring, because that's what you do. Are going to dress up in ladies' clothing? <laughs> the dumbbell will be on the right side and we're going to be in a plank position. So, the dumbbell is behind my arm. I'm going to show you the exercise and I'm going to show you the modification. I'm going to take my feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. I'm going to take my left hand reaching under me, sliding across, the dumbbell across, 
placing my hand back on the floor. I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm gonna drag it across. Now what's the modification? You do this exercise with your knees apart. Dumbbells still underneath you. You slide it, put your hand down. Slide it, put your hand down. This is for time. Are you ready? Get set and go. We're up on the toes or on the knees. You drag the dumbbell underneath you. Make sure that butt stays down. Reach underneath to pull it across. Reach underneath to pull it across. Working that waistline. Getting that butt down. Good, keeping that core tight. You're more than halfway done. Now remember, I always say it. If every exercise were easy, more people would be exercising. But you have to challenge yourself in order for your body to change. If you do the same thing all the time and you're not getting results, that should tell you something. And time. Take a moment. You relax while I show you the next move. I'm gonna use a lighter dumbbell today, a five. Now normally we do our pullover sit-ups like this. Knees bent, arms overhead. We rise up. Today, we're gonna do more of a wood chop. What does that mean? So, the dumbbell starts over my right shoulder and it comes across. It comes across. I'm gonna keep my right leg bent, but my left leg straight. So I'm gonna show you from the side here. It's a pretty cool waistline exercise, if I do say so myself. So my dumbbell starts over my right shoulder. My right knee is bent. When I come up, I twist, keeping that left leg on the ground. I go back, I bring my arms over hand. I come up, I go back. Now if that doesn't work for you, that's okay. It's a day, I'm gonna give you something else to do. You're gonna give me that right elbow to your left knee until we're done. Are you ready? Left leg is straight. Take the head, head of the dumbbell over the shoulder, lie down. In four, three, nice and slow. Do the first few. Get your rhythm going. It goes from over the right shoulder, over the left hip. Push the right foot into the floor. Keep that left leg straight. Am I gonna get a thumbs up or thumbs down on this exercise? I like it. Can we use a different finger? <laughs> Up and over. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Keep it going. Here's five. Four, three, two, and one. How'd you do? We gotta switch legs. Bend the left knee, right leg straight out. Lie on the floor, start with the dumbbells over your left shoulder. Three, two, let's go. Up and over. Wood chop, that's the twist. Exhale as you come up. Exhale as you twist. Bend that left knee, push that left foot into the floor. Get that rotation. How you doing? Five. Four, three, two, 
and one. I love you for playing. Can we do one more thing? Of course we can. <laughs> Knees up. Knees up, hands on the floor. We're going to keep the head and shoulders down today. Knees up, flex the feet. Right heel down, left heel down. Now it's not just about moving your leg. It's about holding that belly in as your legs move away. Right like that. Now you will feel it in the front of the thigh, that's fine. But what I really want you to focus on is drawing that navel down. Lower back on the floor. We're working the abs, but we're also helping the lower back here. Lower the right, lower the left. Pull the abs in if you're not sure. Place your hand on your belly. Make sure it's in. Here's 10. Here's nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Abs in tight. Five. Four. Three. Two, one more, and the left, hug your knees in. Let's roll all the way up, come on to all fours, hands and knees. Now we eased our way into the workout, we're going to ease our way out. So, I'm on hands and knees. Push yourself back. Onto your heels, stretch back. I want you to rock to table. Push your hips forward, modify plank. Bring your elbows by your side, lower all the way down to the floor, chin to the floor. Push yourself back all the way into child pose. Sit back. Rock forward to table. Hips come forward, modify plank on the knees. Lower elbows tight to the sides, to the floor. Push yourself back into child's pose. Rock forward into table. Push the hips forward, modified plank. Elbows tight to the side, chin to the floor. Push yourself back into child's pose. Two more, please. Rock to table. Push the hips forward. Elbows tight to the side, chin to the floor. Push yourself back to child's pose. And one more time, rock to table. What am I doing? Pushing to modify plank, elbows close. This is your tricep push up. And then push yourself all the way back to child pose. Stay here. Turning the palms up is my option. It helps me to open up those shoulder blades. Rising onto the knees. Bringing the right foot forward as we push the left hip down, knee over ankle, getting that nice hip flexor stretch. Breathe. The left two sides. Right knee on the floor, left foot forward, push the left foot down. So happy unofficial start to summer. Happy Memorial Weekend, everybody. Is it safe to break out your white jeans yet? Do you fit into them? I don't know if I do. Let's ease our way back, push onto the toes. Come up halfway with a bend in the knees. Let your head hang heavy, keep the bend in the knees. Slowly roll up. Head is the last thing to come up. Take the hands behind the back, open up the chest. Arms pressed together. Reach the arms right with the palms in above the head. Take the right hand toward your left shoulder. 
belly and chest up. Reach up, take the left hand toward the right shoulder. Let's take the arms up, round the upper back, tuck the chin in. And then lift the arms up and let them go down. As always, my pleasure to guide you through your class today, guys. Have a happy Memorial Weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'm going to unmute everybody. Let's say hello.